Yes, sir. ये देखिए हाँ करें अच्छा देखिए जितना करेंगे So the charge of charge of 
one electron. And I used to put a negative sign. I used to put a negative sign. Charge of one electron is same as one proton. One proton plus positive charge is same as one negative ion. It is also same as one see negative ion or it can be same as one positive ion and the value is what is the value? Zero. No. 1.6 into 10 to the minus 19 coulomb. That is how the symbol came. C. Charge of one electron or charge of one proton, that is a plus one, this is minus one, or charge of one negative ion, or charge of one, this is going to give us uh, 10. I was supposed to write one oxygen, but uh, you may misunderstand. I'll write one, some other element, say calcium. C. Calcium. Positive ion. They have the charge is 1.6 million yeah. minus 19 coulomb. Let me say, Q is the symbol for this. So I have two point charges. Q1 separated by a distance. The two charges are separated by a distance R in air or free space. Or so they all have the same meaning, whether it is in the air medium or free space medium or vacuum. They, they are com coming under the sisters. Air medium, free space, vacuum, the formula is the same. So then the force, force is given by this expression proportional to Q1, Q2 upon Oscar. This is similar to Newton's law of gravitation. Sorry, this is similar to Newton's law of gravitation. It was m1, m2 upon Oscar. Exactly the same idea. So some, sometimes they may ask how it is analogous to uh, gravitational field. It is both are proportional to the strength of the charges. Both are obeying inverse work. Since Thus, F is equal to some constant into Q1, Q2 upon Oscar. <coughs> As you have this, look here, whenever any variable is proportional to Space, 
और वैक्यूम दिस फंक्शन वैल्यूस वन ऑफ कॉल फोर पाइ एक्सलॉन दैट इस नाइन हंड्रेड टेंडेंस टू नाइन वेर एक्सलॉन दिस इसमें वॉइस भी आता है